Is the search finally over? Have I finally found a free alternative to 11 laps? Well, if you want to find out a little bit more about that, stick around to the end because we're going to be doing a bit of a versus video. It's going to be a free AI voiceover versus a paid AI voiceover. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Here we are at a site called Text-to-Speech OpenAI. And yes, I do believe it is owned by OpenAI. And this is a new website that they've got going with this. Now, all you really need to do is pop in text. Now, what you will need to do is to sign up to it. Now, we'll leave a link for this in the description. It's not an affiliate link, and but that's okay. You just click on it and you'll be able to get access to this and then you'll be able to sign up for it, which is really cool. And what you need to do is, of course, just use ChatGPT or OpenAI or whatever, or even a PLR product if you want to be able to pop it in there and to create a voiceover. Of course, we're going to be comparing it to a free version of Eleven Labs. Now, one of the things that the paid version of this one has is you can clone your voice. Like Eleven Labs, you can also clone your voice, but they're both on the paid section. Of course, so if you want to be able to clone your own voice, that is just, you have to pay it regardless. Now, if you want to know the pricing, the pricing is substantially different. Let me just quickly show you that one. Over here, for unlimited use of just the regular voiceovers, you, it doesn't cost you anything. It's literally zero dollars, unlimited use, which is fantastic. And if you wanted to go, if you wanted to go premium and have it ad free, basically you get 200,000 credits for six dollars. That's all there is to it. There's no other payment options available. Six dollars a month. Now you will, if you are using the any of the credits for the voiceover, that will be used primarily for the regular voiceovers and also to speed up any of the vocalizations that are coming from, say for example, let me show you. Oh, let me show you what I'm talking about. The system video, for example, the system AI voiceovers, click over here. Any of these voiceovers just here, when you're doing them with on the free version, they take forever. These ones over here, the ones under the system voices, they take forever to, to process, but they are free, so you can use them but they just take a long time to process. Just be prepared for that. Whereas you got the open AI voices, you got, I think there's four male and two female. You got Alloy, you got Echo, Fable, Onyx. Then over here you got for the girls, you got Nova and Shimmer. Kind of cool names really. But you can have a quick listen to what they're like and see that they actually have really amazing quality to it. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. This simple fact has been observed by humans for thousands of years. Now have a look at Echo. In the heart of the city, there is a large park where people go to relax and enjoy nature. Now let's also have a look at Fable. The library is a quiet and peaceful place where people go to read, study, and learn. The shelves are filled with books on every subject imaginable. Now let's have a look at Onyx. The train chugged along the track, carrying passengers to their destinations. The rhythmic sound of the wheels on the rails was soothing. Now do be aware that the system one is ha has some amazing voices as well. Have a look at Alex, for example. And over this great demand, Buck ruled. Here he was born, and here he had lived the four years of his life. I really like the open AI voices. They are very, very unique. And I really like the one that, or I really like the um, Echo. Echo is probably my favorite. I'm going to restart this for one second. There we are. This is the one I like the most. So I'm just going to click on this one. I'm just going to type, paste in some text here from ChatGPT. Now we'll be using the same text. And for this, I had to do a little bit of funky editing because I found that it uh, didn't really like using the word Aweber as Aweber. So I had to change it and put a dot between it. And I also found the same thing with, with Eleven Labs as well. So not just a text-to-speech OpenAI thing either. So I'm just going to paste this here. Now, be aware that you have to sign in. Otherwise, you can only do 500 characters. This allows up to 3,000 characters at any given time, which is pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Now over here, you get for the speeches, for the text-to-speech, the regular voices, you have up to 5,000 characters in this one. So we're going to just paste the same one here. And I'm actually going to take away the dot in this one and show you what, it, what it's like. So we're going to be taking away the dot. Now remembering this does chew up characters when you use this. So I'm just taking away a few of those. And I'll take away a few in here as well, and you'll see what it does. It, it really does miss say a Weber. All right, so let's start this process. This is really quite quick when you're using the AI, the open AI voices. Now, quality, you can only keep it at a high quality and normal speed. 
you probably don't want to be changing that too much anyway. So let's just go create and see what it's like. I'll pause the video until it's finished. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to this and show you what it's like. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula. And in today's video, we're diving into the world of email marketing, specifically how to build an email list using YouTube and the types of free products you can offer to encourage people to sign up. I'm just gonna take it further down in so you can hear what it's like when it misreads. Is create an email list. This is where your subscribers emails will be stored. Give your list a name that reflects your brand or the purpose of the list. C, set up a landing page. A Weber allows you to create a landing page where people can sign up for your email list. Use their drag and drop. We go over here to about the middle way, midway now. For this, we're going to use A Weber one of the most user-friendly and reliable email marketing services out there. AWeber offers a free plan which is perfect for beginners, allowing you to have up to 500 subscribers, create one email list, one landing page, and set up one email automation. Now. A. Sign up for AWeber. Go to the aweber.website and... It says that AWeber then. Normally it says Orber, or, or Weber or something like that. Or Weber. It, it doesn't really say it right. So by putting the... Full stop there, you can make sure it says it correctly each time. So it's not a really big thing. The best part about this is you can do it as often as you want to get it right because you have it unlimited time in the free version. So that's the best part about this is you're not chewing through your credits. Now let's have a listen to this one. I'm going to go set up AWeber, get rid of that one. And oh, by the way, I'm using the voice Brian in this one. So We'll have a look at see what this is like. So we're just going to generate the voiceover on this one. Now, this will usually take a lot less hey time. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula. And in today's video, we're diving into the... But I will pause it until it has finished because I want to get down to the point where it starts to say AWeber where the mistake is. We'll see what it's like. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this to around about halfway mark, about roughly about there. And we'll just have a listen to see what it's like. Double ...email marketing services out there. AWeber offers a free plan. See that? A Weber because it said it incorrectly. Let's have a listen. Which is perfect for beginners, allowing you to have up to 500 subscribers, create one email list, one landing page, and set up one email automation. A. Sign up for A Weber. Go to the A Weber website and sign up for their free plan. Yeah, it said it correctly then, but it only take it required having the full stop in the correct place for it to work properly. Let me quickly show you a little tip that you may or may not be aware of. You, Word's been around forever, so you may already be aware of this. Did you know if you want to be able to correct a word, all you have to do is highlight over the top of the word and hit Control H. And what that does, it allows you to be able to replace the word all across the entire document. Say, for example, it keeps coming up with the same word and you want to change it. Say, for example, you want to go from a Weber to a dot Weber. You can do that. You can just type in here a Weber and replace that with dot Weber. And then you can just replace all of them with that. And you just hit replace. But because I've already done it, there's nothing to be replaced. So you go yes and then hit OK. All right, nothing done. So all we have to do is close. Because it's already been done, it doesn't matter. But there you go. That's just something you may or may not be aware of. Help speed the process up. So as you can see, unless we put the full stop there, that can be a bit of an issue. Now, one thing I will say is with this is that it chews through the credits pretty quickly, especially when you only have 10,000 credits to start off with on the free plan. And if you have to constantly make these corrections because you discover, oh my gosh, that that was in the wrong place. Well, that was wrong. or They didn't say that correctly. I really need to fix that up. It's going to chew through your credits. Whereas with OpenAI, there are no credits for you to chew through. You can do it as often as you like and get it exactly how you want it to sound. This is what I really like about this one because you can do it as often as you want and that's the best part about it now i don't know if there's a limit to this as in you know like sometimes with chat gpt there's a point where it goes okay you can't reuse this for another couple of hours this may have that option where it gets to a point where it's like okay you've done it too much now let's give it a rest for a little while this could be the case with this one i don't know i haven't gotten to that point where it's doing that to me yet so i don't know maybe it will maybe it won't but as you can see you can choose other voices let's try try this one here and all i have to do is just hit create and it will now recreate the voice for me. And as I said, if I wanted to, I could try doing this, but unfortunately it is a, a pay plan, but it's only $6 a month. How good is that? And you can do your own voice cloning as well. I have to say, I will go over to the paid version of both of these in a minute because I do have a paid version of this, as I also have a paid version of, of 11 Labs as well. And I will show you the difference because there really is quite a big difference. Okay, let's have a listen to this. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula. And in today's video, 
we're diving into the world of email marketing, specifically how to build an email list. And so that's Alloy. Doesn't he sound amazing? I mean, I would put that easily on par with Eleven Labs. Easily. Now, one thing I'll say with Eleven Labs is I find that it can also be a little bit funky in how it says things. Sometimes it can be speaking like this and then like just a normal. And then all of a sudden it just starts talking like this. It's kind of irregular and also inconsistent in the way it does things, which can be a bit annoying, especially when you want it to be level all the way across. Out of that, so I would say this one, text-to-speech open AI has that over the top of 11 Labs. Now, 11 Labs has way more voices in the free version and gives you a lot more options if you want to be able to go that way. And also too, it processes it, it processes it so much faster than here. But if you have the system one, let's show you the system one for a minute. And I'll tell you, time is now 3.14 p.m. I'm going to choose Tom. Oh, let's have a listen to Tom. Buck did not read the newspaper. I'm just going to choose Tom. And I'm going to get Tom to read this out. And well, let's have a look at what time it is. Well, okay, so it's now 3.15. And we'll see how long this takes. I'm going to pause the video until it's... Okay, so it took like a minute. Now, I just have to go over here to history. And once it, uh, once that little green line goes away, we can go over here to history and we can choose out of the history. Okay, now let's go over here to history. So that took a little bit over a minute. So it was actually faster than expected, really. But let's have a look here. Okay, so this one's ready to play. But that was one that was from earlier. That was Echo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that was Alloy. You have a look at this. Tom, still waiting. It's now 3.18. And that was the first one I uploaded. I did it twice. This one I just did a moment or two ago. And as you can see, this one was done two minutes ago and it's still waiting. So I'll pause the video again. We'll see how long this takes. Well, I suppose if you really, really want to speed the process up, what you can do is you can then, while this is processing, you can then paste in another script and do it again using the same voice. And if you have to do it several times, you can do that till you get the set desired a length of time you want to go. Now, what you would also want to do, let's go and show you how to download this. This is pretty easy. All you have to do is click on that there. Now, this will open up hey in guys, a different screen. Hey, guys, I'm Henry. from. And then all you need to do here is click on those three dots there and hit download. And then you can download it anywhere you want. And it'll be downloaded as an MP3. So as you can see, you can it'll just download it as an MP3 and you can just download it anywhere you want. So let's go over and have a look at the paid version of this. Okay, so here we are in the paid version, text-to-speech OpenAI. It's going to do exactly the same thing as what we did before, except for the fact that the voices over here in the system voices are much, much faster. And you can download them straight from this area here. You don't have to go to history. But what you also have the option here is my voiceover. Now, as you can see, this one here, got 3,000 credits used to be able to use this. So let's have a listen to the sample. Earth is the third planet from the sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. And that has, gives me an American accent, which is probably what I would sound like if I'd been American, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, that's what it does. And even Eleven Labs has that option, has that problem sometimes. But here is the Eleven Labs version of one that I uploaded recently. Now with the Eleven Labs one, you have to upload and upload and upload until you've uploaded about 20 voiceovers that go for one minute each. Then it gives you a much more accurate version of this. Now you can go here to listen to this. All our knowledge has its origins in our perception. So that sounds just like me. Now let's go use voice over here. And what that'll do is it'll allow me to use my voice. Now, if I was to type on here, let's go generate and see what it's like. And in just a moment, it should come up with a hey very- Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula. And in today's video, it sounded, it's a very close likeness to my voice. It's a bit more excited than how I normally speak, but it sounds really good regardless. Now listen to this. We're diving into the world of email marketing, specifically how to build an email list using YouTube and the types of free products you can offer to encourage people to sign up. Yeah, that sounds just like me. Now, if I was to use that in my in my speech or anything like that, let's go over here to vocalize and see if I can actually use that. So we're gonna use Henry Webster. Yeah, I'll go over here, my voice, and we'll click on that. And we'll go create speech and see what it does and see what it sounds like. I'm gonna pause the video until it's finished. Okay, this was taking so long, I decided to make myself a cup of coffee. So I don't exactly know how long it took, but it's ready now. Let's have a quick look at what it's like. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and in today's video, we're diving into the world of email marketing, specifically how to build an email list using YouTube and the types of free products you can offer to encourage people to sign up. That sounds nothing like me. <laughs> Unlike this one. This one sounds a lot like me. If that sounds interesting to you, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right. Stop for a second. You can actually hear a slight American accent 
a slight American twang coming into the voice just there then. Now let's have a look. let's move it down a little bit and see if the American accent continues or whether it moves away. An email list gives you direct access to your audience, which is incredibly valuable. Unlike social media platforms where algorithm changes can drastically affect your reach. Reach, the way you said reach sounded American. Email allows you to communicate directly with your subscribers. Yeah, this one sounds a lot more like me, but it's not perfect. Hey guys, I'm Henry from Product Creation Formula, and in today's video, that sounds a lot better. That sounds a lot more like me. Now, out of my assessment of this, which one do I think is better? Well, personally, value for money, obviously the free one's going to be better. Functionality wise, when it comes to using the AI voice that you create yourself, I would say 11 Labs has it over as it does a better job with the voiceover when it comes to that, that one. Speed wise, 11 Labs has it all over. Quality of the voices, I think they're on par. And the fact of the matter is, with the text-to-speech open AI, the free one is completely unlimited on what you can do. Now, if you choose not to use your own voice, then the free version is absolutely fine. And the best part about it is it chews up zero credits. Unfortunately, the paid version does chew up credits. You get given 200,000 credits. So, but as you can see, I've used up 50,000 credits already just for this particular one here and also the voiceover. So that's three, that's 30,000 credits going away straight away. So as you can see, this does chew through that. So I, uh, if I'm just going to be do it using this for a voiceover, a regular voiceover, probably just stick with the free version. With 11 Labs, I would use this primarily if I'm wanting to create a video where I'm using clone of my voice. That's the only way I'd use it. Which is better? The text-to-speech OpenAI is better in a lot of ways. And they both have good points and they both have bad points. Let's just say that. But I will say that if I was going to start a new channel, I would start a channel primarily using the open AI voices because I can create as many of those as I want and upload them as often as I want. So I think the in total in all up, the free version of text-to-speech open AI is probably better in the end than the 11 labs. So that's my opinion. You might have a different one. Please voice your opinion down below and let me know what you think. All right, guys. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of text-to-speech open AI. Do you think it's as good as 11 Labs? Or do you think it still has a little way to go? Also too, to let you know, right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here, well, that's an image of my head. If you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.